Alrighty, hello again YouTube, and hello Fina. Um, so we are on to part three of our basic uh, core pagan beliefs. Uh, we just finished talking about um, uh, prayer versus spells or rituals. Um, that was actually pretty much all there is to the basic beliefs. Um, so, and I didn't realize I was that close to the end of the thing when I finished uh, video 2. So video 3 is just going to be some interesting facts about paganism. Um, so, believe it or not, um, most Christians, well, most Christians are unaware of this, however, some Christians are aware of this, um, pretty much all pagans are aware of this, that um, a lot of Christian basic um, beliefs, traditions, and customs are adapted from paganism. A uh, good example is Christmas. Um, pagans call it Yule, um, although we celebrate slightly, well, on Christmas we celebrate pretty much the same thing. Christmas, um, Christians uh, celebrate the birth of their Savior, and we celebrate the birth of the Sun God, or um, the God Himself. Is, is he he's dies and becomes reborn every year, and he's always reborn on Yule, which is December twenty uh, first. Also, with um, Christmas or with Yule. The Christmas tree was also adapted from pagan uh, traditions and customs. Um, the Christmas tree, um, they would decorate a Christmas tree because the, the the tree or the pine, which is typically what a Christmas tree was, was an evergreen tree and it represented everlasting life because evergreens don't die during the winter. They don't turn brown and their leaves fall. They stay green all year round and they are a constant reminder that life does continue even during, even during that time of year when winters are so harsh. So the Christmas tree was adapted from that tradition and um, adapted to the Christian holiday of Christmas. So another one is Ostara, um, or Easter, I'm sorry, was adapted from the pagan holiday of Ostara. Easter is Christian's holiday where they celebrate the resurrection of Christ. For us, Ostara um, is just a celebration of new life, basically. Um, and it's not really considered resurrection for us. Uh, resurrection would be Yule, when the god is reborn. And um, Ostara is also kind of... Um, it, it's where we have the, the Earth's axis is at a point where we have equal night and equal day. And the egg actually came from, um, it's said that on this day, because of the Earth's axis and the Earth's magnitudes and polarities and everything like that, you can take an egg and balance it on one of its points, supposedly. Um, some people have got it to work, some have not. Oh, we already mentioned the egg. And the other one, um, this isn't necessarily a Christian holiday or anything like that. Um, Although the maypole, I have heard of it from medieval celebrations and stuff like that, but the maypole is actually a tradition of the pagan holiday of May Day or Beltane. Um, May Day and Beltane just celebrate uh, the union of the god and the goddess. Then there is also Halloween. Uh, Christians have adapted Samhain, which is a pagan holiday, or, or it's the witch's new year. And it's where we honor our ancestors. It is where the veil between this world and the next world is the thinnest, and that's most likely when our ancestors can hear us, and even possibly can visit us. And uh, Halloween, or you know, the whole trick or treating thing, was started. Uh, I don't know the details. This is just right off the top of my head, but um, something about kids dressing up to scare their parents to give them food or candy or something like that. And so that's how it turned into the holiday that it is today. So anyway, that's everything as far as the core pagan beliefs. I mean, that is really the down, breakdown basics. Um, you know, what our standpoint is, basically. Now, what I'm going to talk about next time is elements. Um, so this does go into basics, not really core basics. This will talk about the basic stuff that you need to know um, to prepare for ritual or spells. So until next time, thank you guys for watching.